How's it going guys? A Dragon Star Production here, back with another What If video, except this time I won't be covering it. I'll be handing the torch off to another YouTuber to cover this part, but I will be covering part 2, so make sure you go over to his channel to make sure you can see it. And with that being said, Drew, go ahead and take the story away. After pushing out Gohan, Chi Chi's key fades away as she lost too much energy birthing Gohan, with Goku set in that he couldn't wish her back with the Dragon Balls. Gohan is left with only his father. What would happen if Chi Chi died birthing Gohan? Goku, realizing that he has no experience as a parent, decides to ask Bulma for help, but she is too busy to take care of the newborn Saiyan hybrid. But Dr. Brace is interested, says that he would like to watch him for a bit, after noticing that he has a tail. After teaching him some of the basic life skills over the years, Goku Goku decides to listen to Dr. Brief's advice and raise his son the only way he knows how, by training him. For a very short amount of time, Goku was doing the basic training with Gohan, improving his martial arts skills as well as raising his power level up to 10. However, Gohan's first real challenge was him climbing up Korn's tower, just as Goku did when he was a kid. Goku was very surprised and excited that his son was progressing so fast. Then afterwards, Gohan drunk the Ultra Divine War. He throws up a bit and then spars with Goku as well while they're up there. Korn and warned them about having a baby drink the water, saying that was too dangerous, but Goku shrugs it off saying that he drank as a kid and he was fine, and he leaves and calls Nimbus over, and they head over to the lookout for the next challenge. Gohan learns about the Dragon Balls and spars against a clone of himself with Mr. Popo, while Goku goes out to eat at a buffet somewhere else since he was pretty hungry after training with Gohan. Kami steps out to see Mr. Popo, oddly happy, and Popo explains in the times of peace he's actually happy that he could train the son of the man who saved the Earth. Goku comes comes back with some takeout and decides to feed Gohan some ramen that he ended up buying. Kami once again offers Goku to live on the lookout, but Goku rejects this, saying that he wants to spend time with his son as much as he can. The next thing the father and son would do would actually be taking some time away from training. The two would go out to an old fishing hole where Goku used to go fish with his grandpa Gohan, like he remembered, and the two would build a bond much bigger and grow much stronger together, not only emotionally but physically as well. And this was a very nice relationship building moment for the father and son. Goku and Gohan will eventually head out to Kame House to meet everybody, but Goku is really just there because he wants some food. And he hasn't seen everybody for a bit, so that's also a bonus to him. But before they go, Gohan wants to stop by see Mr. Popo and Kami. Popo is surprised that Gohan wanted him to come to the party. Popo, being a bit shy, wants to decline, but Gohan really encourages him, calling him Uncle Popo, making Popo grin. He decides that he'll get on his magic carpet and go with them to the party, and he ends up meeting everyone at the party. Since since Popo has never lef left lookout before, as normal rats would arrive on the planet searching for Goku, he decides flying over or Piccolo first, bringing his power level well, off his scouter, just to fly off right afterwards, realizing that he's not Kakarot. As in canon, rats lands in Kami House, crash in Popo's first party that he's ever been at, informing everyone that Goku was a Saiyan. Popo asks if this is one of those hired performers, only to be informed by Bulma that she wouldn't do that because Gohan's at the party. Meanwhile, Krill and gets slapped into next Wednesday, as Gohan is nearly as shy as this can, actually decides to confront Rats after that encounter. When Rats would ask Gohan where his mother is, Gohan would reply that she died giving birth to him, and that Gohan really doesn't know her that well. Rats then flashes back thinking a bit about his mother and his parents. He thinks about Gine passing away on Planet Vegeta after Frieza told the Saiyans that it was destroyed by an asteroid. But Goku cuts the moment, telling Rads that he swears the Kami for him to get away from his kid, charging head first with a signature headbutt. But Rads is too quick and dodges the attack. He grabs on Gohan and says that he wants to learn a little bit more about him in private, to have some Uncle Raditz time. Which Popo says that I'm the only uncle here, and Kami, himself from above in the heavens, would say that this was so. Before Goku could get back up, though, for round two, Rads may manages to escape. Rats learns a bit more about his brother, and thinking more that he was a failure, and wonders if Gohan's mom was the same. Gohan, being a bit young, says that he doesn't know, but he knows that she was way, way nicer than him. Rats in this timeline is actually a bit more forced here to actually remember his family. This is mostly due to Gohan actually having the loss of his mother, forcing Rats to also kind of understand that as well. Despite the fact Saiyans normally don't care about their family, this kind of forces Rats here to at least kind of understand where the boy is coming from. Because after all, he is a Saiyan. He is interested in a bit. Radson decides to ask the boy if he can fight, which Gohan says, of course he can. So Rads decides to 
spar with him for a time being, being bored, and Gohan eventually learns his first key be- blast, the Double Sunday. Brad's thinking he could convince the boy, asks him to join the Frieza Force. But before Gohan can respond, Goku sen- comes into the fight and grabs Red. It's with a big bear hug. He tells his son to get out of the way as Piccolo charges up his special beam cannon, for they are waiting for a mo- opening to try to take out Raditz. As Goku and Raditz are killed, enraged Gohan tr- transforms, and he discovers his inner power, and he turns into a Super Saiyan. Raditz says he is dying. Raditz yells, that's the legendary Super Saiyan. Vegeta, Nappa, are you seeing this? Vegeta freaks out and says to Nappa that we're going to Earth right now. Raditz laughs and says, at last, we might finally have a chance to fight against Frieza with this boy. Maybe we'll, we'll even be more power. We'll say, we'll put you in your place, foolish boy. He takes his last breath. And he passes. Piccolo says not to worry because they can use the Dragon Ball. Also, wish back his dad. This calms down the terrified Gohan. In space, Nappa says to Vegeta, Oh, they have a magical boy and a granting wish balls. Vegeta said, as Vegeta says, I witnessed the future of the Saiyan race at this point. I believe that Frieza was my mom mu- um, at this point. I honestly don't care. I just want to see for myself. We should go to Earth and check out at least this is boy is actually another Saiyan that actually killed off Raditz. But how will Gohan handle this new power? Will Mr. Popo remain Gohan's only uncle? What will happen while Goku heads the other world. Will Goku push Chi-Chi off Snake Way? Wait a second, I slipped up that one, which reminds me. Anyways, if you got this far towards the end of the video, thanks for watching. Sorry for the awkward cut there, I forgot to do the outro. Anyways, if you want to watch part two, you can go to my channel, What If Universe, to check out part two. I'd like to thank everyone who watched the original part one and tried to get over my stuttering, but I know a lot of you complained so much and so hard that I, as a person, felt like this video honestly needed to be redone and cut all that junk out, you know? Anyways, be sure to subscribe to Dragon Star if you have not already, since after all this is a part one and you might not be subscribed to him. And feel free to click the bell icon so that way you can be notified on upcoming what ifs. And also check out his community tab where we'll be posting another collab that him and me are planning to do some point. Who knows exactly when that'll happen because we're still working on this one at the time with the two latest parts. Anyways, always remember, in a what if universe, there are endless possibilities as well well, be sure to go to my channel once again. I'm saying this again because for people who are new, because I know some people seen part one, some people haven't, you know all that fun shits, I guess, that happens with remasters. So go check out part two. It's on my channel. It still holds up. The only thing that was really changed with this was my awful audio quality, etc. And hopefully we'll get to Super and GT eventually. We just want to make sure people still enjoy the series and all their fun stuff like that. I do want to say this real quick. I want to thank Dragon Star a lot for being one of the first few people who collaborated with me because as you can tell with part one it was pretty awful at least with my audio delivering I should have honestly edited a lot of that stuff out but to be fair I'm I wasn't really sure at all what I was doing and if you're on my, go my channel you can understand that there are some videos that I'm still planning to remake for sure but anyways if you have any ideas for future what ifs be sure to comment them down below here I'm sure Dragon Star and I would love to look through some of your ideas this has been Drew from what if universe I'm out, peace, and remember, in what if universe, there are endless possibilities, once again. And I will see you in the next few parts for all the new people who are watching this series. So, yeah, see ya. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the what if. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that bell for all notification and alerts for video uploads. And don't forget to join the Discord because we do a whole lot of fun stuff there. Dragon Ball discussions, game nights, debate nights. And follow us on Twitter. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. This has been Dragon Star Productions. I'm out.